Hi guys, it's Michelle. So, very happy to do today's video. Very excited. Um, so, this is all actually for fun and games, for alleged and entertainment purposes only, because honestly, I don't know Amber. Uh, and she only, she only said that she, um, she only can confessed to this like maybe um one or two times but she did in her second to latest video so i'm gonna be reacting to that because it's it's if you don't know you guys my name is michelle and i'm an addict <laughs> um i'm sober now um i went to R-E-H-A-B. I'm probably going to get freaking demonetized for even saying that I'm sober. But anyways, um, who cares? It's it's about the education. I'm just kidding. Um, but what am I talking about? Like, my drug of choice is weed um, and benzos. But I am a weed print queen. Okay, like I loved we, I, lo I still do. I love <laughs> C-A-N-N-A-B-I-S so much, okay, that I ruined my life. <laughs> no, um, but I was very low-functioning human being. Um, so let's go ahead and find... Not my YouTube channel, not my old, not my old videos, Michelle. Come on, you really, you didn't have this set up already? I'm surprised, I usually have this set up. Um, yeah, let's just react to the largest tornado ever. Um, and those are my tags, not actually what I look up, I swear. But what was I going to look up? Uh, Amberlynn read and it's this video i think a video so this is weigh-in video my sunday weigh-in so my goal for the near future is to have my sunday weigh-in uploaded on monday as you guys can tell i've kind of been failing at that because i'm just taking it easy in january i just feel like i need a little bit of a mental health break from filming and that's fine um maybe my own boss i feel like yeah since she is her own boss and she is like is a youtuber like she can do whatever she wants like she deserves a vacation as much as any other business person does however um if i if i want i mean that's this is just me if i if i wanted to take a break from uh youtube i would probably arrange a few videos even if they're not the best quality they're just me hanging out talking to the camera i did this when i went to rehab um I spent like a week filming video. My cat is literally going to be the death of me. <laughs> um, I literally spent a week filming videos. Um, <clears throat> be and then I was like, okay, deuces. I set up some polls. And you guys didn't even notice I was gone, did you? I'm just kidding. You guys totally did. <laughs> but um, uh, that's. But you can do whatever you want, obviously. I'm just saying that, like, maybe a TV, even TV shows, like, everybody kind of does that, you know? I, I don't do that because I, I, can't, I can't even be, honestly, if, I, I don't even have my video for Monday, pl like, planned. Like, I have an idea, but I'll have to be interviewing people. I feel like I won't be able to interview them by then. To do that, which I love. So, let's get into the five questions, and then we'll get into the weigh-in. So, the first question is, does the rest of your family also struggle with their weight? And not all of my family, but... A really big thing for me when I think of my family and my weight is my grandma on my dad's side. Before I was even born, she was over 600 pounds this and she actually got weight loss surgery. Sorry, this is interesting. Thank you. Thank you. See, some like I was told so many different things in R E H A B about C A N N I B I S. Like, some people were like, 
why are you even here for it? Like, they laughed at me. They're like, I just can't fathom feeling like you need R-E-H-A-B for C-A-N-N-I-B-I-S. Here, let me show you guys my cat. Um, <clears throat> and I was all like, but then, then there, but then there were other people who were like, um, <laughs> A-S-T-O-N-E-R-G. Listen, I think, and I'm just going to, I wanted to say this. I'm not going off track. This is actually something I've planned on saying for once. But um, I think personally there's a difference between an S-T-O-N-E-R and, um, what are you doing, babes? <laughs> and a A-D-D-I-C-T, all right? Because, um, well, forget it now. We're just going to go back to the normal viewing um, but anyways, like, for example, my, f my friend, um, he is a S-T-O-N-E-R, but when he runs out of, you know, of this magical flowers, um, he's fine. Like, I would text him and I'd be like, hey, do you have any? And he'd be like, no, I, r I ran out. I'm like... What do you, hold on, let me see if I can zoom in the screen. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean you ran out? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me because to an ADDICT, there is no running out. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm all messed up. Um, there is no running out. That's not an option. You will do whatever that needs to be done in order to get it. So that's my thoughts on that. So that's why I'm not sure if Amber Lynn is a A D D I C T. I mean, she definitely. I'm gonna lean towards yes because um, she is a food addict or has binge eating disorder. I'm gonna be straight. I don't know the difference. But Amber Lynn, if you're watching this, I went through A A and N A. Well, really A A, but I identify as an alcoholic because um, I identify with the 12 steps um I didn't really have a problem with alcohol it was more like I would just get super when I did drink I would get way too drunk like I don't I, addicts don't understand boundaries like I'm one of those drunks who is like who's like wanting to continue drinking for no reason it's like you're already so <laughs> so that's not good so that's why I'm sober um uh, <clears throat> Yeah, what am I even talking about? Before I was born, I didn't even know they had weight loss surgery back then. Like that's. I, I don't I don't know if Amber Lynn is a ADDICT to cannabis though because she um what we should have a flower we'll call it flower um because well Delta eight really like you guys I I tried some Delta eight before I went to the magical center and um. It is like one tenth of the flower, the normal stuff. Like, mm, so Amber, mm, and I'm pretty sure she she was actually smoking the flower instead of Delta Eight because um, she's in Kentucky. She knows that she's not allowed. She's not tech allowed. I know that it's weird to not be allowed to do that, but you're not allowed. It's illegal, I should say. You're not allowed. Is like a parent thing. <laughs> so weird to me i know that might sound like ignorant but i thought weight loss surgery was like maybe like 20 years old something around there i'm 32 if anyone's wondering so i always knew my grandma as a woman and oh my god i love the knowledge that you have oh my god jordan hollister teach me more please being an addict is a state of mind it's a malicious coping mechanism there are a variety of addicts um weed alcohol gaming it's a form of escapism yeah like all i'm trying to say is that if you are addicted to one thing, chances are you'll be addicted to other things. And like we see with Amber Lynn shopping, I guess she's not addicted to it anymore. Like she's sober from shopping. <laughs> no, maybe not sober, but and definitely with the eating, with the binge eating. And um, I think that she would benefit so much I think that everyone would benefit so much from the 12 steps like if you don't believe in God listen I don't believe in like the white man with the beard in heaven right I believe in like maybe 
part of me is agnostic. Like, I, part of me is an atheist. Like, I just... But part of me believes that there's, like... Like, we're not supposed to understand. Like, there, like the way that we were made, like, there's sort of another dimension. Oh, my God. You guys need to check out the channel Fortune on YouTube. He, oh, he makes the best videos. And Wendigoon. So... That's what I watch in my free time, as along with Kicking Geese and the Narc Alert. Does anybody know? Anybody watch? Probably there. I mean, I don't. I don't know if anyone watching now knows. Anyone watching after? Does anybody know um, what happened between Kicking Geese and the Narc Alert? Like they want no affiliation anymore, and they were like best friends. I'm so. I want to know what happened. Like from what I heard. Um, I'm sorry. I'm picking my nose because like I feel something. I don't want to like. Uh, but what am I even talking about? I feel like something went down. Like, I think kicking I think kicking geese might have blocked Amber Lynn from the Discord. I, allegedly. Like, I have no idea. Hold on, you guys. Um... Uh, So anyways, moral of my 20 minute long rant. I don't I don't think that it's out of out of the realm of possibilities for Amber to be A D D I C T E D to flower. I had like 6 D8 gummies and didn't feel much. The concentrate hit me harder. Dude, don't start me on that. Like, dude, the concentrate, bro, not like the sparkly things. What do we what do you, what do you guys call that? It's probably good that I don't remember because um I, I would, like, the YouTube knows, the YouTube algorithm knows. No, I'm going to be probably already. I don't mind being, like, ad restricted. Like, obviously, I don't make a living on YouTube. Like, I don't really care. But what I do care about is I don't think it gets pushed to as many people if it's ad restricted. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I really love the silver hair, by the way. Thank you. The, it's getting so old, like, that Um, if you look at it, like, it's turning into, like, like plasticky hair and so I'm probably gonna order a new one I just can't, I'm gonna be honest I can't find my debit card um I also can't find my driver's license so that's not good because I really wanted to do uber eats today um but anyways faith is a state of mind too I hope that someone is there to take care of your immortal soul Yeah. <laughs> My sister did NA. Yes! Her sponsor said her higher power is a purple-haired lesbian wearing a Momo. Exactly. Like, and if you want, to, if, if you have, like, this anonymity, is that the right word, towards religion, because a lot of addicts do because they went through religious trauma, just void that just see like my thing like I personally I should start praying again but I don't pray but like I used to pray when I was in rehab God grant me the serenity to ex wait what is it oh no I haven't been to a meeting to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change I think the, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference and like even I would I put that under my door in rehab and so I would kneel down every day and do it um, and the, even if there is no God, let's just assume that we could possibly know that, um, it, it is the subconscious too, that you're affirming, right? In her like low 200s, high hundreds, um, the grandma that I'm speaking of is, um, no longer with us. No, but that's crazy how Amberlynn's grandma was, um... Also, can you guys be straight with me? Like, I know that I'm pausing an absorbent amount in this live stream, but does it bother you guys when um, I pause, like, I talk too much about my personal life? Because I got a comment and someone was like, bro, stop talking about your personal life on my Mara video. Just talk about Mara. And I'm like, but, but, but these are my friends. <laughs> oh my God, parasocial relationship. Um, my sister is an addict of a similar age. I'm sorry to hear that for you. you no, know, you know what? Um, wait, H user from age 10 to 11. Oh my God. That's horrible. I can't, like, I feel like that's a different realm. Like, alcohol, you know, benzos, um, H, F, 
like all like those are yeah it's so sad it's so it's so hard i can't i can't even i like i i can't even wrap my head around how difficult it must be to stay away from cravings like i can't like if you if you stay sober from those you're a fucking with like magical king queen fairy like seriously you're beautiful you're amazing um I'm sorry as well. It's so painful to watch someone struggle as you know you can't help unless they want help. Exactly. Like, yeah. The narc... Okay, ready? Thank you, Alice B. Rabbit. I appreciate. The narc alert blocked Amberlynn Reed in chat and... J oh. So, are they still friends, though? Because I feel like that's not really feud material. Like, I feel like we could just be like, oh, um, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Maybe unblock her and let's move on. But I could, I'm definitely missing something. Like, <laughs> hi, Alice B. Rabbit. Enjoyed the, the year of the rabbit. Year of the tiger was eventful. Oh, my God. Like, they were dressing up their, like, people were dressing up their little newborn babies and tigers. It's so cute, bro. Now, I guess it's going to be, I think I was year of the dragon. Uh, that would have been so fucking cool if some, my parents dressed me up as a motherfucking dragon. Like, everyone's baby pictures are like a tiger or like a rabbit. Mine's a motherfucking dragon, bro. Um, just, maybe, Eric, should I, should I change my YouTube name to Michelle Dragon? <laughs> Wait, what, what year were you born, Eric? The year of the, um, Chinese New Year. Disconnecting the humans that cause the trauma from religion, any religion can apply here, can be really hard, but for myself, it really helped me so much to see my abuse, di abuse differently. Like, I, I'm, I'm not here to, like, I honestly have no idea what it's like to experience, like, religious trauma. Like, my religious trauma is being forced into CCD and, like, kids making fun of me because I didn't believe in God. Um... And, like, I don't know, it just bothers me how, like, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> no, change the live stream name to Michelle's Religion Rant. <laughs> she smoke. she's, she does the flower, but won't take Tylenol unless she has to. Bro, listen, as much as I, like, as long as you're not an ADD ICT, do all of the flower you want, bro, because you have this weird magical X-Men superpower in your brain that doesn't tell you that you need to do it every moment of every day. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, with the with kicking geese, like, she'll um, just she'll just be like, yeah, I'm just taking a tolerance break right now. I'm like, what do you mean you're taking a tolerance break? How do you take a to like that's impossible? How do, how do you live? How do you continue breathing? <laughs> like, for, like, I don't know if anyone's, uh, okay, I'll continue the video in a second, but, um, if anybody wanted some, if anyone doesn't know a lot of, about addicts, an addict craves their DOS, their drug of choice a hundred times more than a person who has been without water for three days. Like, it's, I, and like if you're not an addict I'm sorry you just don't get it like I went to college for two classes about addiction I got my bachelor's in social work useless useless information you don't get it unless you're an actual addict which is a good thing <laughs> um disconnecting to humans uh yeah anyways uh blah blah blah, blah. I'm sorry I already read all that it what I was so happy she trusted me to go to NA meetings with her. So many amazing stories people share. Yeah, like, people say, like, bro, me going to these meetings, like, even though I say some stupid shit, like, I don't even know what I'm talking about, like, I could be saving someone's life. And if I were to, like, relapse, like, then I would, you know, potentially be, like, killing someone else. And I was like, that really resonated with me. Even though, like, that's an in extreme, but... 1971 Michelle Dragon Mana, <laughs> the girl with the dragon tattoo. I'm um, ha Have you ever heard of Billy Milligan, Eric Tiger? I'm happy she's a uh, she's allowed you in her trust circle. I like sharing your personal life. I like you sharing your personal life. It's so rare to find a genuine person on YouTube. Oh, well, I don't know how to be fake, but I could try. 
I mean, I am like kind of fake sometimes. Like, I'm like I'm oh I feel like I'm overly happy like too nice in my intro like I need to start being more chillaxed with it like in my intro I'm like hi guys it's Michelle welcome back to Icrystal my nymphs oh yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn the bell on if you're feeling risky comment below thank you also thank you to my members I appreciate you I see you in the chat I see you Oleander Moon and Co and Eric Tiger um okay let me just finish reading this and I'll get back I like you sharing during their lives. It allows for so much connection and it's really nice, right? Like, it's fun. Like, if you want to hear, like, if you want to hear um, specifically about Amberlynn Reed or Dissociated, go on the Dissociated Reddit, bro, because, like, I have ADHD. <laughs> Get over it. Um, the book took, uh, the book, a book that is such a huge amount of THC plot and addiction is Infinite Jest. That would be good. I have never really read an addiction book. You can all practice the book of knowledge about addiction, but its practical knowledge um, is something else. Not, not knowledge I wish on anyone, but y uh, you... Why can't I read? But it's how you truly would understand. You uh, might have a little camera shyness still. It fades away, though. Bro, I've been doing YouTube for years. I still have... It's too late. It's just that how I am. No, she was like my mom when my mom couldn't be my mom. And I miss her dearly. Like, more than anything, I wish she was still alive because of how close we were. And it's like, we have so much in common. Not just the weight aspect, but she's also a lesbian. And I didn't know that until I was older and she had already passed on. My dad didn't want me knowing for some reason. That's like a whole other story for a different time. So, but yeah, um, I do have people in my family who struggle with their weight, but I also have people in my family who are just naturally thinner. Lucky them. Second question is- Like, and this is a question I have. Like, and I, this is really dumb of, like, I don't, I can't, not dumb. Like, I know dumb is not, is a derogatory term. I don't know the right word though. Um, this is not very intelligent of me, a question. Like, you, like, some people are obese. They don't have a, um, a food addiction or any kind of, like, um, binge eating disorder or anything, right? Like, this is just me being completely, um, I think the word starts with an A. Like, I just don't even know what I'm on about. But, yeah. That's it. Do you believe in health at every size? I do not. I do believe in beauty at any size. You can be a thousand pounds and be beautiful. You could be uh -huh. 80 pounds and be beautiful. But I don't think that being morbidly obese or severely underweight is healthy. It never will be. It took me some time to, to get to that spot because I remember about six years ago, I saw a doctor and they did my blood work. They called me healthy and they just said that I'm overweight. So I took that, I ran with it. I accepted that for what it was, but that's not, that's not the truth. I really feel like even with a clear bill of health, being my size is not healthy. It is a symptom right. of something and that symptom is very, very unhealthy. Next question. You don't drink much water. What are you drinking then? Are you ordering? A that's my question is don't. I could be wrong here, you guys. Like, I could be missing something, but don't you die after three days of no water? All right, and clearly, I'm clearly that's not true because Amber's living proof. But um, I like she must be drinking a lot of something else then, bro. Like, and but if nothing else, not drinking water is a is gonna affect your mental health like crazy. Fountain so drinks anymore. No, I'm actually not ordering fountain drinks anymore. I'm drinking a lot of this. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of a w Zero Sugar Root Beer. I'm low-key okay, obsessed. Listen, low key. I'm I'm also addicted to soda, bro. Like like um in even in a lot of rehabs, they won't allow caffeine or soda. They didn't allow soda at my rehab, and it was really freaking tough, bro. Like I still was addicted to it thirty days in because I was still craving it. Like like I wasn't craving my DOC because um 
like how could I possibly get it in this scenario? Like it's just dumb to even think about it. Like I'm in recovery for this. But it's like for Coca-Cola, I, I when they gave us a Coca-Cola, it tasted so much freaking better. It's so good, bro. I don't know how to get off of it. Like last night I went to freaking Panera and I didn't get a Coke, but I, because I was doing Uber, I was like, that's too expensive. It's like $3 for a freaking small. And so I um, ate my food without it. And the entire time I was thinking about Coca-Cola. But I know that I need to slowly start drinking more water and less diet soda because yeah. I'm pretty sure when you get weight loss surgery, you can't have carbonation. So that's going to be a big Well, I mean, listen, the you're already in contact with the weight loss people. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse here, you guys. I'm just saying she's already in contact with the weight loss people. She's in a waiting list or something like that. And it says right now you're supposed to be cutting out on things. I forget what they are, but specifically one I do remember is um, carbonation. No more carbonation, bro. And like I, I, in the past, I have stopped drinking Coca-Cola years ago. Like I just went cold turkey, like just stopped drinking. Co and it gets so much easier. You don't even miss it. Change for me. If but I do like, it for me, it's not going to kill me. Like maybe slowly, like it will. But like for you, love, it might. Approved. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say if. I'm going to say when I get approved. Fourth question is, what's different this time with weight loss surgery versus last time? So I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you are new to my channel. Some of you haven't seen all my videos or know about every single thing that I do in my life. Um, I have tried to get weight loss surgery before. It was actually a few years ago. And they told me that they wanted me to heal from my past. And I took that as a fail. This time, I know, I know they're going to say that to me. Instead of thinking of it as a fail, I am accepting it as part of the journey. That is how I know my mindset is completely different. It's, it's not going to be a fail. It's not going to be, no, you can't get weight loss surgery. It's okay. Here's your first step. Now do it. And the reason why I took that as a fail last time is because I didn't want to put in the work. I didn't want to at all. And this time I do want to. That is a big difference. Last question is, does Delta 8 make you binge? It does for me. So you know that about yourself. You're admitting right now that this entire obsession you've had with weight loss surgery, allegedly, that you weren't even in it. You, ju you just wanted the weight loss surgery to be like the tooth fairy who comes in the middle of the night and casts a spell on you to stop binging, bro. Also, Ozempic is so weird. I didn't know this, but apparently it like stops it makes your metabolism go a lot slower so the food stays in your stomach longer so you'll crave less food and that sounds kind of off to me i don't know like ozempic is apparently like a good thing for people for with type 2 diabetes but still does it for you so delta 8 is a, a wannabe thc i mean it has thc in it it's i don't want to get into details but it's just legalized like marijuana, kind of and yes um i actually had to quit and that was hard for me because i think i kind of started to rely on it um i woke up and i was excited to take one and i couldn't go to bed without one it was becoming um a crutch when right. i had anxiety or what do you things. mean without one so she's not she's not like smoking it so what do you mean? You're taking like little tablets? Felt heavy. I would take one, and it was becoming sort of an addiction. Right. I feel like anything could be an addiction. Mm -hmm. We don't have to discuss that right now. But I have quit. I no longer take Delta Eight anymore because it was causing my binge. She's to get not looking at the camera when she's saying she doesn't do it anymore. You guys, like, listen. I know that like I'm not a body language analysis, and 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 that even and even so, but like even like I don't know. This doesn't seem too trustworthy to me. To you, you guys, way worse because I was getting to a point where I was getting pretty high and like I would just mindlessly eat and eat and eat all day. So right. I guess it's time that I share with you guys um, when I said that the first week of- You guys, I, I am definitely the munchies high. Like when I, when I first started doing the flower, bro, so much munchies. Like, I don't know, bro. That's why I don't even, like I never even, I never even did the indica because um, that made me- like want to go to sleep and just like eat an entire portillo's and then go to sleep um whereas sativa Zempic did not work for me and the reason why is because i was taking a lot of delta 8 and like i said it was like i was obsessed with it i relied on it i relied on it a lot and i hope i'm not overstepping any boundaries here 
But my friend actually got approved for weight loss surgery at um, 21. And so I don't know if, if they passed the exam. Um, or in Illinois, it's different. But um, he's doing very well. But it's just that Amber... Um, Is she less emotionally mature than a 21-year-old, or are they going to approve her, is what I'm... Like, I didn't mean for that to sound rude. Um, this is the most down-to-earth Amber Lynn Reed I've seen. Yeah, I feel like she's admitting to it, but she's she has to say that, you guys, I'm done now. Like, I'm done now. I'm like, are you... Six month diet monitored by a dietitian, psych evaluation, sleep study, etc. A lot. Doesn't she have um? What's that? Someone in my rehab had that where like you stop breathing in your sleep and it's so scary. It's like you're gonna die, bro. It's like they stop breathing, bro. It's so like ugh. Ozempic is a great medicine for diabetes, but I can't see how it isn't dangerous for. But I can't see how it isn't dangerous for weight loss. Gives me uh, Fenfen vibes as a fen Fenfen. Am I just reading that right? Uh, survivor with heart complications. No. Wow. I'm so sorry about that, Eric. I was watching me on video. Is looking up to the right good? Wait, I don't get it. I'm so sorry. I'm missing up on something. <laughs> you were 19. It differs by insurance and state. Well, Amber doesn't have insurance, so does that make her less qualified? For some reason, I feel like it kind of does. Because she thinks it makes her more qualified, but I'm like, babe, I don't know. I feel like they can milk the insurance, whereas they can't really milk a person. <laughs> uh that sounded really wrong. Um, also, I have delayed stomach drain time to due to medical issues. It's slowly killing me. I get more malnourished the more I eat. It's hell. Why would anyone want meds to induce that? Oh my god, they don't be talking about that. That's horrible, Eric. I'm so sorry. Jesus. People, like, the medical field is so effed up. No wonder, like, so many people have, like, trauma around the medical field. It's called sleep apnea. Thanks, I forgot the word. And yes, it's terrifying. One of my exes used, like, I'm not trying to out anyone, like, <laughs> used to have sleep apnea. And it was so scary, bro. Like, he would just stop breathing, bro. And then he would, like, breathe super fast. I would, like, oh, I can't. I can't. Like, I get super weird with, like, hearts and stuff. Like, your, your oxygen, you're not getting oxygen in your blood, bro! Like, that's so nasty. Like, how could you ignore something like that? Like, you have to go to the doctor immediately. Michelle, I thought you said looking up to the left could indicate deception. Pardon the- oh, sorry, okay. Well, I was watching me on a video. I was looking up to the right, good? Oh, I don't know, bro. Like, somebody told me that it was the other direction. Somebody told me that it was, um, not even true- but, like, if you're in thought, it's different. But if you're, like, I don't know. It's kind of, like, it's kind of, like, um, an, uh, it's a nonverbal cue of, like, uh, I don't know. I had military insurance, and they pay almost everything. But I had $500 hospital fee that it got waived, though. Thank God. Oh, my God. Dude, my, my rehab was apparently, like, up to $2,000 a day. But my insurance covered it, bro. All of it. <laughs> Like, it's like, fuck that. I wor I go to work in the medical field and the problems involved and the problems involved because of corap corp I can't. Corporatizing. Corporatizing. 
Um, corporatizing. Yeah. It is all infuriating. Like, people say that schools don't get enough funding. I'm just saying, my school just got a fucking fountain built, bro. My high school that I went to. Like, they have, like, they have, they get new statues every year. I'm like, what do you mean you don't have school funding? Get out of town, bro. Michelle, I thought, oh, never mind. You already read that. <laughs> um, I go to work. I already read that, too. My boyfriend has to be on oxygen when he, well, good, bro, because it's better than not being on oxygen if you need it. I'm always so scared his line is tangled, wait, his line is tangled when he wheezes and it's, and it's rolling around. Usually he's just dreaming, but it's okay. It's uh, scary. I feel you. Yeah, bro. Uh, not to make it all about me, <laughs> but I looked up like that during live streams. No one here to look in the eye anyhow. Fair. Listen, Eric. I'm gonna, my next react video, reacting to Eric Tiger lying on live stream. The only evidence I have is that you, um, you look up to the left when you talk. <laughs> I'm on disability for migraines. I can't, uh, get my pain management doctor covered. No, are you kidding? No, this is some BS, bro. I wouldn't really film right. while high. I'm sorry. Actually, I, I, I might have a couple times, um, not many, but I ended up quitting Delta yeah. 8 while taking Ozempic. And I think that was a really big thing that also helps. But listen, you guys, do you guys know, can anyone tell me how expensive Ozempic is? Because I heard Ozempic is like upwards of $1,000 a month, maybe 2000 alleged. I have no idea, but I, it's extremely expensive. Like... And you ruined all of that on Delta 8, bro? Y you might have, like, go back on it off of Delta 8 then, bro. Um, I'm waiting for the exposed video on Eric. How dare he look the wrong way? <laughs> That's right. Quote, unquote, right. You slandered me. Oh my god, slandered for defamation, bro. I'm filing a class action with Kaya against you. LOL, sorry, I'm JK, JK, JK. <laughs> are you, wait, are you Kaya's lawyer? How dare you, Eric? Allegedly. Because Delta 8 was making me so freaking hungry and then like stopping it plus starting Ozempic, it was very helpful. Addict behavior, you guys. It is, it is addict behavior to realize that something is ruining your life. Because let's be honest, you guys. This Ozempic, like, Amber Lynn described it at the time as her last chance, like, her last, like, this is all, like, sh she needs this to work because she's gonna die, bro. I'm here for this Haas gossip off topic, the press on live. Um, hot off the press on live. No, this is, uh, you know, three days ago. But, you know... It's it's hot news to me because the, because um I don't know it's crazy about the whole Ozempic thing and like it not working because she was smoking. But I have not done Delta Eight in it's gonna be almost a week and um yeah it's just it's, See, to it's a sad. lot of people that might not sound like a long time but to us addicts that is a long time because i i do enjoy it you know i do it just it's so relaxing but and then we were wondering like who introduced you to oz who ozempic to delta eight babe was it was it wifey what's her name i forget but is it this is it the wifey um Oh, yeah, you're here for the Eric drama. <laughs> Double Eric drama. Exposing all every Eric I know. Delta 8 is, like, an extremely, um... It's, like, one-tenth of the potency of weed. Um, and it, it, it's legal in, like, pr every state, I think. I could be wrong on that, though. No, Eric, no, she does have an Eric, doesn't she? Eric and Ricky. 
but they're not friends anymore. Um, but I'm actually proud of Amber for being so hard on, open on the topic. She's clearly trying this shit is hard, but is she, is she telling the truth? Like, I feel like, yeah. And it just, it makes you feel good, but it does it's not worth it because good. it made me feel sluggish. It made me feel hungry. It made me not really do the things I was supposed to do. What I'm trying to say is it wasn't productive. Like it wasn't causing me to be productive in my life. I think a babe might benefit from inpatient. Maybe like a little inpatient moment, moment. Um, maybe for binge eating, but maybe for cannabis, bro. Because let's be honest, if you had such an issue, it probably wasn't Delta 8. And, I mean, I don't know if anyone has experience on Delta 8, but I don't think it's that strong. In any sort of way. And I know that I took Delta 8 on live stream and I kind of regret that because I just, I don't know, live streams make me feel like really anxious and I get in a weird headspace and I get put on the spot with like harassment and things that I don't want to talk about. And then like, I just get so overwhelmed that I become, sometimes I say and do things that I just don't. I don't agree with. I don't know. Like, that's totally fine. Like, it's not like it's illegal to do that. However, it's just the fact that you lied about it. Like, in the video, people are like, girl, your eyes are glassy. Like, you're obviously under the influence. And she's like, I'm not. I don't smoke. Like, really, Amber? And now you're coming out about it? Like, what I'm saying? I th what I'm trying to say is. Like, she's not even trying to lie. She's not even trying to hide the fact that she's a liar. I think that by no longer taking Delta 8, it is going to drastically help me. And I already feel um, that in the last few days, it has helped me um, because I haven't been binging. And since that was my last question, that kind of is going into how this last week has been. She must have been doing Delta 8 for a long time. My main focus is not to binge. That is all I'm worried about. I, I really want to see, am I binging or am I a food addict? I have always said that I have binge eating disorder. Who cares? It's all about getting treated for it. She's like, what do I have? Let me, let me get diagnosed before I can get help. I was diagnosed with binge eating disorder, but was I misdiagnosed? Because Just do Overeaters Anonymous. Just do it, bro. It's so awesome. Is, am I just a food addict? I think of this I've been thinking a lot of addiction lately, you know, with like my family. Sorry. Um, I grew up in foster care because my parents were drug addicts and Aww. my mom's been sober for almost seven years. And it's just, it's beautiful. And my dad is still in his addiction. And oh my God, bro. Um, this is hard for me to say. And you guys have been saying I need to be more open. Bro, this is the most like vulnerable moment though, because like, look at her little Bambi face, like not no pun intended because like that's her and feline's feline that's her and feline's baby names for each other but like ba like amber we didn't you don't need to be open about this kind of stuff like this is really personal but like you can be but it's so sad bro like we're not forcing you because i feel like i've lost that side of me i'm not as open as i used to be um i try to be but it's you hard don't you don't have to be open babe why am i being an am baby right now but it's the tears, the tears for me. You guys, I'm such an empath. <laughs> my brother, my little brother, um, he is back in jail for drugs. And it's like, it's so bittersweet because he was homeless. And it's like, I couldn't help him um, for personal reasons. I'm not going to say I couldn't help him with a home. I couldn't help him with him coming here because it wasn't allowed. And it's just... I feel like I didn't help. Yeah, my sister with peace and love, she she's totally fine. Like we we might even collab on this. She was an addict as well, but also an alcoholic. Fun. A uh, little mixture and um it's when they're going through the addiction, <laughs> it's crazy. Like I've been the I've been the addict. I've been the um addictee the one experiencing the addict and um it sucks bro it's like you don't understand the addict's emotions they change so and they don't want help they just want their doc because in in their brain like all they want is to be happy and the only way you can even continue breathing is i think i might have done a video about the stages of addiction if i didn't then I have to, though, because it's interesting. It's like, yeah, it's crazy.
I tried, you know, I would pay for his food a lot and stuff. And I don't want to say too much about his personal, um, inf like information and stuff right. and what he's going through. But right now this is also something that I'm going through and I know that sounds selfish and I'm not trying to be, it's just, this is like such a, I don't know. It's a very hard time for me because I'm thinking more of addiction lately. And I'm wondering, do I actually binge or do, do I just eat? fellow addicts in the chat what's the first step admitting you are powerless against your addiction i think that might help be helpful for amber to think through large quantity because it's like it's like freaking out about am i an addict am i an addict who cares bitch just go get help for it you don't even if you're not an addict you're clearly acting like one so who cares just get help for it tease because i'm addicted to what i'm eating and this is all something that i am going to be able to find out and i'm just thinking more and more you know about it and like the last time i showed you guys you know i was binging it was literally a meal from a fast food place and like people were saying that's not a binge and then i was confused because i was like well my psychologist says it is and i feel like it is and then I just, I don't know. I am confused. And I feel like this whole weight loss journey thing and me seeing another psychologist and really digging deeper because we need to dig deeper so I can get approved for weight loss surgery. I think I'm going to be coming to a lot of... There's a conspiracy in the Amberverse where, um... Wait, what were we talking about? Need to dig deeper so I can get approved for... Amber might, like, allegedly... She might know now, I hope she doesn't see this or hears anyone else talking about this, but that she, at her emotional, at her current emotional state, she's not going to get approved for weight loss surgery. And so maybe she's kind of figuring out that if she lies, she um, will get the weight loss surgery. Which is no bueno. Very bad. Weight loss surgery. I think I'm going to be coming to a lot of um, memories and situations and things that uh, I don't know if I want to talk about and absorb and process and think about, but I have to. I have to. And um, so when I sit here and say, I don't want to binge, I guess. Do you guys think? Okay, you guys don't have to answer this, but I might just answer this for myself. Do you think she might have borderline because she has this fear of abandonment? She feels the need to fill the void. That's just what I'm used to saying. And what I really mean by that is I don't want to eat when I shouldn't. And that is just the easiest way for me to explain it right now. Because I always considered me binging when I'm eating large quantities, quantities of food when I shouldn't be eating them. That's what that felt like to me. And I don't know. I just... I, I want to figure this out. And it's like, am I just... Am I like my parents? Did I just... It's also genetic, babe. It's okay. There's nothing... Like, I know there's a negative stigma about being an addict, but really, once you've been through, like, if, like through the... um, Once you've been an addict, known someone who's an addict, you realize, like, there's just a negative stigma on it, babe. There's nothing wrong with being an addict, bro. Like, you don't... Like, I know, like, I'm not, I'm not going to say you don't have to cry about it because it's hard to come to terms with, but, like, it's okay. Choose a different outlet, you know? And, and it's also, like, a, com a common response to trauma, babe. Like, what is it? Like, you're trying to soothe yourself. Um, it's like, my brother, he is an addict, but he chose drugs. Well, drugs. I hope that was not an ear kill anyone's ears. Oh my god. I've been so good at this lately. I'm sorry. It's just that my microphone sucks. All right. It's a good microphone, but it just the way that it's like it it can fall down at any given moment, which is really bad for the ears, I would say. Um I'm so sorry about that. Well, drugs chose him. You know. And it's like I think of my mom and those drugs. My brother he is an addict, but <sighs> He chose drugs. Well, drugs chose him, you know? And it's like, I think of my mom and she is so inspiring. It's, Cause it's like, I remember, I remember how things were when I was younger. They were scary. And the things that she did and the things that she went through, it was scary. And I never, as sad as this is, I never thought that she would change ever. And it's like, she's over seven years clean. And it's like, she's inspired me.
<laughs> this is such an emotional moment. Why am I not, like, getting emotional about this? Well, honestly, I've already seen this video. I've seen Kicking Geese react to it. I will say partly open is better than nothing, but honestly, with something that is this personal, it's okay to cloud the truth when it's this public. It's hard to navigate and learn how to be open right. There are so many different harm, redu harm reduction groups for binge eating. Right, exactly. Considering her drug trauma with family and herself, that approaching that approach would be super helpful. Yeah, I mean, statistically, if someone in your family used drugs and they were maybe an addict or an alcoholic, you're statistically much more likely, unfortunately, to also fall down the same path. And that was like me when my sister was an addict, but then she got sober and I became an addict. I was like, not me, please. Like it runs in my family though. <laughs> But um, I'd say the first step is finding people who... Yes, find other overeaters. Find a sponsor. Oh, my God. If Amber had a sponsor, oh, my God, that would be so cool. If you don't know what a sponsor is, it's someone who, like, guides you through the 12 steps. If you don't know the 12 steps, I've got to just tell you them right now because they're so amazing. Let's Let's do OA. Okay. Okay, so the 12 steps of Overeaters Anonymous, we admitted we were powerless against food, that our lives had become unmanageable, too. Came to, okay, you don't have, I think Amber might be religious, I don't know. Came to believe a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. I feel like I'm at an AA meeting right now. Three, made a decision to turn our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Because I've, I've actually led an AA meeting, or it was, an, it was a CA meeting back in, um, when I was in rehab. It felt like it was awesome because you get kind of like a high when you share. Because an addict will do anything to get high. So even like public speaking, you'll do anything. Anything. <laughs> Making, uh, searching, or to get high without the negative things that come with it, obviously. Because you want to be sober if you're at a meeting. <laughs> Making a searching and fearless moral, moral inventory of ourselves. Admit, and a sponsor can work you through all, has to work you through all of this for it to work. Um, admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact natures of our wrong. Six, we were, uh, were entirely ready to have God remove all of these defects of character. Seven, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. Eight, made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to amend um, to them all. Uh, nine, make amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Ten, uh, continue to take personal mor moral inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Ten, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for, his, for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out, and 12 have a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps. We tried to carry this message to compulsive overeaters to, and to practice these principles in all our affairs, which, is also, which basically means uh, being willing to sponsor someone once you go through the year 12 steps, which is, would be, you guys, Amber would never. I'm just like, I'm just like how kicking geese is with, um, the starch solution but i'm like that with with aa i and like you can even go to an aa meeting as an overeaters anonymous like unless it's like a closed meeting for only alcoholics but um it's the same freaking thing i mean it's honestly different for overeating because like how can you not like you like it's like with drugs and alcohol you can stay as far away as you possibly can from it in most situations, but in, like, with eating, you have to eat every day. So that sucks, bro. <laughs> That's like asking an H addict to only take a tiny bit of H every day. Like, are you kidding me? I didn't want to talk about any of this. Oh my god, my mascara. <laughs> I didn't really want to, like, talk about any of this, but I've been hearing a lot of you say that, like, I'm just not the same person as I You don't have to. Oh my god, Amber. Well, thank you for sharing, at least. It used to be like I'm not as open, and it's because I'm scared. Oh. 
to be open because people just they make me feel so bad about being human and i don't want to feel bad about it anymore anyways so i waited a 520.0 which means i did eric tiger comments crying face emoji i find sponsors messy mine showed me speed <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. That's the worst. Are you fucking kidding me? That's actually the worst sponsor I've ever heard of. That's horrible. Um, I'd say the first step is... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Some people 12-step style doesn't work. Absolutely. Definitely didn't for me. No worries. It doesn't... It's fine. I mean, based on what you said and the clip right after, she might not get approved. I hope she follows through with the idea of taking this one step at a time to get better right one day at a time bro um sh does she give she does give off cluster b slash and or um complex trauma vibes also cluster b or you know she does also have yeah like i feel like she has um apparently normal parts and emotional parts so definitely theory of structural dissociation she could have a dissociative disorder um Cluster B can definitely be helped um, way. These things often go with addiction and ED. It makes it a million times harder to cope. I like less structured groups. I used to run HR groups for street youth at my old job. That's awesome. Also, I'm recovered, but I have no idea how many steps, which also hints at me doing better out of 12 step. You know, it's... Wait, that's... Default 12-step sponsors where I live. Don't worry, um, never had a speed issue, just had to some whack on the weekends, RIP. That's what I was afraid of, bro, is like, luckily this didn't happen, but I was like, what if I meet someone in rehab who introduces me to a strong <laughs> did gain weight and i'm exactly where i was on january 1st today is actually tuesday and um i got a new scale you guys will actually see that in a vlog um i opened it for you guys and i explained why i got a new okay. scale and i weighed myself today because i wanted to see if the scale was accurate so i stepped on the I mean, one do you even have to weigh yourself i mean if it makes you more motivated then sure weigh yourself but i feel like your goal should just be to eat as many greens as possible, bro. And I usually use, and then I stepped on the one, the new one, and I'm already down a couple pounds from just Sunday, so that makes me really happy because, like I said, I'm not what I consider um. Because, like, from my experience with a restrictive ED, it is so weird how weight fluctuates. Like, like when I was recovering from my ED, I would eat everything, um, and. I didn't gain any weight, trigger warning ED, talking about weight, but later on, like a few weeks after, that's when I started gaining weight. And so, um, yeah, I just think that skills are really stupid and they're not really correct. Like maybe if you weighed yourself maybe once a week, that might be a little better. Jean, am I overeating? Yes, but I just feel like there's a different level i don't know how to quite explain it and i kind of want to dive deeper into that and maybe like show you guys physical foods and what i mean by like overeating versus like binging if you will so on a happier note my weight loss surgery appointment is coming up soon and i am honestly so so excited oh my god my makeup's all messed up i was just wearing mascara and some lip stuff but it is what it is it's at the end of the night it so is what it is. Um, i'm gonna end this video i'm sorry it was such a mess um i just wanted to be more open about what's really sitting heavy on me right now but i am so hopeful for my future actually and i know the tears might say otherwise but i think it's a mixture well i just hope it goes well for her you know what i'm saying like i hope that if she does get weight loss surgery that um you guys like why are you making a pizza aren't you trying to like i, I hope it goes well oh my god fortune opened a video oh my god i have to watch this true stories that make me question reality homemade pizza i don't care so it's been, i don't care i've been with feline i have not done this since i've been with her at all um because i'm more responsible now not because of her she's made me see things differently but i'm, I'm just growing older you know mm -hmm. in my 20s making large portions of money coming from the childhood that i had where i had nothing i wore like one pair of pants to school <laughs> that's all how I have. much does amber make does she make like um maybe 70k a year i don't know all right let's see what you motherfuckers have to say 
My boyfriend had... Oh, I already read that. Um... Not to... Oh, I already read that, too. Wait, it's not... This isn't updated. Hold on, let me get the updated one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There you are. And there's my Kyle from Dissociated Impersonation. Isn't it? You alright? Oh, yeah. No, you're alright. Oh, yeah. So worse. I'm so done. <laughs> British people watching this are like gonna murder me. Um, unless you have medical issues, so you need one. Bathroom scales are cursed. Fucking hate them, right? It's like. I wanna be. I wanna. I used to wanna be a nutritionist. God knows why. And, um, but I didn't, I didn't because there's a lot of science that goes into it, but yeah, so that's about it. Actually, I'm not going to watch the next video. I just don't, I don't know. My mom's going to come home and I feel awkward recording when she's home. So, um, but I mean, thank you guys so much for joining me in today's live. And I know like a lot of people don't want to be probably coached on AA or OA if you're not an addict like you're like what are you even talking about this is not applicable to me I'm very bored so thank you for sticking with it and um if you're not an addict I would still recommend AA bro like it's 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 like uh manifesting into or like um refuge recovery that shit's awesome it's like a Buddhist approach. But um, yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky, comment below how you feel about this situation. Um, is there anything I said that, that um, is there anything I did not say that I missed out on? Is there anything I said that needs corrections? Um, make sure, did I already say to subscribe? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on. If you're feeling risky, become a member. If you're feeling risky, it starts at 99 cents. You get early access to my videos. You get to pick my videos. Um, you get a shout out in every video. Thank you so much to my members. I know who are watching now. Eric and Orlander and co. And also uh, members that are watching after. You guys are awesome. Um, and yeah, with that being said, I hope everyone has a lovely Saturday. Ew. Fucking Saturday. <laughs>